Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Urban Infrastructure and Cities. Will the Minister update the House on how the government's investment in infrastructure compares to previous periods, including in my state of Victoria and in my electorate of Dunkley, and how this investment flows down to businesses? How would other ideas undermine the success? The Minister for Urban Infrastructure. Uh, well, I do thank the member for Dunkley. And it's been terrific to visit the member for visit the uh, uh, Baxter Station with the member for Dunkley on several occasions, because the member for Dunkley is delivering for his electorate. In the 2016 election, he promised four million dollars for a business case for the Frank Frankston to Baxter rail upgrade, and that is being delivered. But he went further than that, because in the 28 2018 budget. What did the member for Dunkley deliver? He secured a commitment from the Turnbull government for $225 million for the construction of this upgrade. And on the 17th of July this year, uh, Mr. Speaker, the Victorian opposition leader, Matthew Guy, promised that a Victorian Liberal national government would match this with a further $225 million. Mr Speaker, the Baxter duplication, the Baxter train is leaving the station. It's an increasingly popular train, Mr Speaker. It's an increasingly popular train because on the 31st of July, the member for Grainley tried to jump on board with a manoeuvre he performs from time to time. Uh, ACCC, a set of initials well known in public policy. Here it stands for the Albo copy and claim credit manoeuvre, and we saw the that on minister, the 31st of July. The minister will refer to members by their correct titles. I've made but this the, point the over and over credit, again. Credit, Mr. Speaker, the true credit belongs to the member for Dunkley. He got this train moving, and all around Australia, the infrastructure train is moving. Mr. Speaker, the coalition investing eight billion dollars a year, compared to six billion dollars under the Rudd. Gillard Rudd government, a $75 billion infrastructure investment program over a 10-year period. It's all there in black and white, Mr Speaker, in the ABS Engineering Construction Activity, uh, a document I know you personally are very familiar with, 8762.0. For any who may not be familiar with it, the value of public sector transport engineering construction work done in the most recent quarter, $5.9 billion, an all-time high. And where did it stand some 10 years ago, Mr Speaker? Some 10 years ago, in the first Rudd era, it's 79.3 per cent higher than during the first Rudd era, Mr Speaker. The value of public sector transport engineering construction work, $5.9 billion. The Turnbull government, record spending on infrastructure. That means more jobs for Australians. It means congestion-busting projects all around Australia, it means getting on with the job of delivering outcomes for Australians when it comes to infrastructure.